this mug it is, it doesn't matter. Just like that, boom, truck and career over. No, no, no. Not anything FMCSA related or DOT related. It's relationship related. <laughs> you wanna talk about it? Talk about the deep down ugly shit about trucking? Real life, up next, I guess. Tell y'all about it. So yesterday, um, I was recording a video and I was basically explaining that today I had a load to pick up out of Yuma, Arizona. There's two pickups, one drop, last drop was in Spokane, Washington. So everybody knew this, right? Including my uh, significant other. So what did she decide to do? First time in relationship history. It boggled me. She decides she's not coming home. Like, she's not coming home. I deal with it. Got a load. Got dispatched on a load. She went, worked out, whatever, that morning. I don't think I seen her at all. Yeah, it was just like instant bullshit, and I knew it was starting for me. <laughs> I didn't know she was going to take it to this extreme, so I'm kind of upset right now. But, yeah, she didn't come home. Um, she basically told me to deal with my daughter. Mind you, my daughter, she's, she's disabled, so she is a handful. She has a... 1P36 deletion syndrome. I got two little girls too, so maybe, maybe one of the cups. Congrats. Yeah, that sound like Layla Cup, maybe. Okay, so let me get back on track. Okay, so we all knew that I was leaving because I had a load, blah, 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 right? She didn't come home. She ended up texting me, basically spazzing like she done lost her mind. Like, like we don't have a plan. Like, like the plan two weeks ago wasn't to, you know, print out some flyers for Print Syndicate, one of our businesses, and get our home office complete, which is, is done, you know? We have, what, a house loan to get. And she's supposed to be starting a broker freight. But somehow, some way, she want me to be in her position. Like, and I don't understand how how we progress and move forward if I'm in your position. Like, I, I have things to do. Not to say it like what she's going through is unimportant. I'm, I'm empathetic to that. But at the same time, I'm playing my role, like, right now. Um the breadwinner, I gotta go get the money, right? Meanwhile, you're gonna complain. Like, you're just gonna complain, and then then I'm gonna quit, and then it's this cycle again. Okay, what now? And it's, it's disheartening. Um, I don't advocate families breaking up. You know, um, I have one broken home with the, the mother of my first two oldest, and now that I have a disabled daughter, you know, that, that decision is more critical than ever. So is everybody's mental mental health in the situation, but uh, it's deep, it's, it's deep on my end. Um, <laughs> I guess it's a fine segment into purgatory. Purgatory, I guess it's purgatory 2020, even though I tried to leave that back there, like it's still it's still some chromatic debt I guess I gotta pay, so. Um, last year this time, I was in a similar position. Now that I think about it, I was working for Camway. I was teaming up with one of my buddies um, from the Navy. Well, shout out Don. Shout out Don Wessel. He that boy getting married soon, but. Um, we was teaming or whatever, and you know, the money wasn't coming in like it's supposed to. And, you know, at the time, I guess she was doing Uber and um, the money was good or whatever, but she didn't have the time, right? The time to really invest into it simply because 
I wasn't there to watch my daughter, right? Or, or, or that was her logic. So, fuck it. I said January 30th, I'm going to quit my job so I could stay home and figure shit out um, home, locally, you know, on every level. My relationship, how I'm spending my time, what am I investing into with my time, you know, just being an overrated driver. You have a lot of <clears throat> time to think and the things that I were thinking about, I wanted to do in real life. You know, we working. We working, I don't get a fucked up, but that's neither here nor there. Um, forgot where the fuck I was at, but I'm gonna need some help. Like, what do I do? Do I quit my job? Oh, I was talking about how I quit Canway. So, Purgatory, yeah, right, right. So we back, we back on track. January 30th, I quit my job. Um, February, I spent my time building my website for Print Syndicate and making more designs for Jackknife and taking pictures and stuff like that. It was all marketing material and stuff. I was focusing on at that time, waiting on my tax check to come back, you know, so we can get our surety bond for our um, freight brokerage. So February turns into March. I don't get no taxes back. I call my tax lady, come to find out one digit was wrong on the bank account to deposit the money. So that's what the hold it was. So that was around the beginning of Maybe March or April. I found this out. Beginning of March. So, the money's drying up now. You know, I don't have money for the rent because our rent was extremely expensive. When I say extremely, it's almost $3,000. It's $2,800. Not including any other expense other than the roof over your head. Not the cable. Not the insurance. The car. The all the shit, right? Come March, I get a call that one of my favorite brothers is dead. Emotionally, that just set me back for, I'm, I'm still in that place. <laughs> Basically, like, I'm still trying to put the pieces back together and it's like, shit keep crashing and I don't know what to do. Like as a man, it's not because I lack the ambition. It's just like, it seems like everything around me, either I'm not doing it correctly, motherfuckers got an opinion on how I'm doing it or sabotaging me. Like just a little bunch of little weirdo shit. And that happened. So emotionally I wasn't I wasn't ready for that, basically. You know, I took a turn for the worse. It's for me not not working, not having a job, but I'm building my business. I'm focused on that to me doing absolutely nothing. No money, like, <laughs> bullshit, right? So, well, let's fast forward to maybe a couple of days before my brother's funeral. You know, I still didn't have no money. I'm, Still waiting on my tax return. The taxes end up dropping the day I was supposed to get on the plane. Like the, I, I, my, she did, my woman did book our plane tickets or whatever um, prior to well, when my brother passed. She booked the tickets right away. So, you know, we wasn't fucked up, fucked up, but we wasn't in a good place financially, you know. Um, all of that money that I thought I was going to be investing into my business and my brand pretty much went on traveling expenses to go bury my, my brother because I'm on the other side of the country. So that happened. My brother, the day my brother's funeral, Nipsey got killed. Like anybody, and I, I don't like talking about it no more because I don't like that dick pulling shit, but. 
Anybody that knew me in real life knew I was up on, on Nipsey and just his philosophy in general, so RIP to that, man. But um, that happened the day of my brother's funeral, you know, and it was just like, fuck, like, <laughs> shit just feel like it's going from fucking cool. Like, my year started off so awesome. Like, I, I got my equipment, my printer that I've been... I've been wanting to, to get so I can work on my designs and, you know, shit like that. Being excited about that and the process of building up my website and shit to within that first month, just shit, just, or second month or whenever, however long the shit show started. That shit started avalanche and all the way down into about June when I was like, you know what? I got a plan. I'm gonna reach out to. I'm gonna reach out to a YouTuber named Stax Holler. That's the video for another time, but that happened. I, I, I'm not gonna speak on it just simply because I still got respect for him. But at the end of the day, I don't really like the way. He, and it wasn't even when it was happening, it was the shit that happened after the fact, the unfollows, the sneak this, and all of that bullshit just rubbed me the wrong way. Came December, I mean, not December, came July. Um, I finally got back from Las Vegas with Stax Holland, and I found a local job dump trucking. It's 18 bucks an hour. Mind you, our expenses are through the roof maybe 5,000 minimum, not including the extra shit like clothes or food or entertainment. You know, we talking about straight bills, so. Excuse me. Shit piling up. I basically came to her at the end of August. I ain't even telling the whole story. I left a critical point out. My lady found the phone, one of my old phones from two years ago. What she seen in it, you know, that's, that's for whoever to <laughs> speculate what happened with that. But it wasn't good, you know. <laughs> I'm still in purgatory. I'm still paying for this shit, obviously, with the start of today. Like, yo, when am I going to get a fucking break? But a nigga just want to be great, man. Like, but that's my story. Um, I guess I won't be getting that load. But uh, that's the shirt I did in the second vlog. Y'all will be seeing probably before this vlog. Before this one. It's the On the Asphalt series inspired by Vans. Yeah, I'm trying to flip the camera around, but I guess I can't stay with a fresh pair of Vans on. Or some Jordans. That's the two brands that I'm uh, basically trying to affiliate myself with, get some type of sponsorships and shit. So, not even sponsorships, but a collab or something, you know. I'm trying to make this jack, take this jack on shit to the moon. I can't be great, though, with my family hating on me. Charles is in this motherfucker trying to hate on my YouTube page, all type of shit. It's weird out here, man. You know, you got a good heart. You really? put up right, so just there. get in a line, meditate, and get you in a line. You don't got to, I though. That, you can make a uh, decision anytime to say, fuck None of this, this drama. Shit, feel me? And, and, and the attacks on, on my family, like my family's been attacked. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like my last name, my legacy, my family, my time. wife. Like, People ain't gonna we're see your vision. They're going to judge you. They're going to hate and, on and you. And we some loving, shit. servant, like, <laughs> real, genuine, like, honest bad. people. They're going to want you to I, be I in their shoes. Like, the, the, like, Love one another. You never get around me at a show. It's like, fucked it's, up. It's just, my light be on. It's fucked up. I don't, you know, I'm not into the BS. I'm not into the dark energy and the dark light and all that. Like, I'm really, like, you know, solid. Like, like, we holding accountability, not the Instagram. I'm holding accountability to God. Like, I don't do bullshit. Like, I don't go to somebody and tell you that hey, they might try to per 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 perpetrate what I have no done party, or do. Man. I'm not saying I've been perfect in life, but I own up to man. my imperfections. And I always try to atone for my mistakes, like, right? And 
I just don't <laughs> you live a life of BS. I don't know because if it's wasted just yet. Because I got my vision. Karma is clear. Real. You Energy feel me? Is real. It's clear. And when you have a tax that are happening clear. on your life, not just me, it's about you and, and, and you know, your everyday walk. Um, and as you're chasing you alignment, you're as you're chasing um, um, the highest frequency, the higher frequency, and getting closer, me, like we say closer to God, it's not like some mythical church thing, closer to God, like living a life, a life. That, a that is close as aligned to God's will for I'm your trying life. Trying to do some shit. Right? right? Like, 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 like finding out what's your purpose. Why are you here? Why did God give you the gifts, the talents, the me. testimony, the obstacles you have? Like, what's your, uh, what's your means of, of, of serving? What's your mean of participating in a whole... You know, that whole thing, human good. Ain't nobody so when you find me, God's me. calling, God's reason, what you're anointed or ordained to do, which would be either your own Sacrifice, vision or supporting someone else's I guess. vision. Right? So whatever that is, for, as you find that fight thing for what the fuck you and you're see, see, searching for higher like energy, until you bring that motherfucker into fruition, you feel me? Energies. Like Don't the devil doing his full time job. Like that, that good and evil shit is real. Can, right? And so as you on your path and your no bike to like can, constantly evolve and constantly approve, how the fuck you can um, do it? You're gonna be like, tested. What the fuck is wrong with and you? those tests will come in the form of distractions, those tests will come in the form of with Jack Knight uh, TV, I guess this is another episode. Underhanded so like, distractions or covert before, distractions really or, in. you know, but there's some personal shit. distractions. I'm trying but to let y'all get a peek into my real life and see how something like this happens frequently to me, you, you know, to all that's then I got to make a decision. So it's been a strange change of events. I just went to my truck to go check on my truck. I ain't been there in two days. Guess who I find camping out in the motherfucking truck? It's crazy, man. <laughs> it's crazy, dog. And she gonna tell me, now I'm going home. Like, really? Like, do you know how much damage you did today? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you burnt the house down yesterday playing a bullshit game and, you know, I had to tell my dispatcher I don't know where the fuck you at and I got my daughter all type of weird ass shit cause cause of what again? Yeah, the life. Just figured out put a little update up from my rant this morning. Um I guess somewhere, you know, you only heard my side of the story. You haven't heard her side, so somewhere in between there is usually truth, or so that's what they say, but I think it's your perspective, like, like what your perspective is and what position you plan in that moment that would determine that. But I did learn something. Gotta meditate more. <laughs>